Hello my friends and welcome to Wing Commander 4 The Price of Freedom. This is my favorite game in the Wing Commander series for a variety of reasons. I love the story. Uh, I think humans dealing with other humans is it's usually more fascinating than aliens. And um, it's got my favorite fighter in all of space gaming, the dragon. Uh, I'm doing this little interlude beforehand because I wanted to apologize. I GOG includes the amazing looking DVD version of this game, which I had never played. And it looks so good. It, I mean, for 1996, uh, it looks amazing. But I, for the life of me, could not get OBS to capture it. I spent the last hour, hour and a half, uh, trying everything I know from running it in a window, which didn't work, to all kinds of capture modes, but none of which worked. I would just get a black screen through all the video until the actual gameplay portion of the game. So this means we're going to have to play it in the version that I am most accustomed to and the version that I um, played with, used in the original uh, back in the day was the DOS version. So that's why I wanted to apologize. It doesn't look as good as the DVD version. It's a, pro it's a little choppy, which I've tried to fix, but it's still a little choppy. So please... Um, Bear with me as we play through the lesser DOS version of Wing Commander 4, The Price of Freedom. Here we go. Come on, man. I moved the window so it wouldn't do the taskbar thing. I have to run it in a window. It's the best way this thing captures. Well, it's less stuttery than now than before, which is good. Does Dolby mean anything anymore? I don't know. Maybe it still does. Alright, settle down, kids. It's time to watch a little bit of a movie. Yay. Yay. Woohoo! My favorite. I've been looking forward to getting to this one. This is the one I've replayed the most, too. Yay! I think I've played this about five times. Or have I played all the other ones just once? Yay! It's usually to get to the dragon. Backwaters. Yay! I miss him. Yay! Yay! Yay, dragon! I still want one. I want one of these so bad. Let's do it. Let's do it. Ghosts in the machine control, but I'm checking here. Why is his call sign Russo? Isn't that his name? You let your imagination run wild. What the hell? Control Russo's off my scope. Moving in. Nothing. Russo? It can't be. Spock, Russo. You're all mine. Can't shake him. He's got lock. I'm just enjoying this. <laughs> this guy's evil! Mayday! Mayday! This is an extreme emergency! 
fighting the flash pack. Still get chills a little bit. That's fudged up. Humans doing that to other humans? <laughs> I don't know if Karathi would do that. I'd call that a successful test. Themselves. It's a waste of a perfectly good mind. Yeah, this one had actual sets, too. The last one was mostly green screen stuff. This one had actual sets. That's one thing I love about this. Yay, George Old Zai. I don't know how to say his name. But that guy, who did a lot of the Wing Commander uh, music. Frank De Palma. Wow. You think this story would be a little better? It's a great story, but it's still a little... Childish. The house will come to order. Yay! Yay! You will shortly have an opportunity to voice your opinions of the recent horrific occurrences that have taken place near the border worlds. But before we do that, I thought it fit to invite the commander of the Strategic Readiness Agency to address the house, Admiral Tolwyn. Now that's a bit green screen back there, but that's a lot of people. Thank you, Senator. Ladies and gentlemen of the Great Confederation Assembly. As commander of the SRA, I'm charged with many duties. Foremost of these Including is the acting. protection of the frontiers of our <laughs> galaxy. Unfortunately, I stand before you today with very few answers. What do you mean, few the random answers? acts of violence taking place in the border world still remain a mystery. It's renegade pirates, I tell you. No, it's worse. The border world's militia is behind it. Let me remind you that during the long war with the Kilrathi, the border worlds were a loyal ally. And now they attack us. Why? Y'all are being so irrational, but whatever. Wouldn't be fun if everyone was common. Rational. Thinking. We mustn't forget who our friends are. However, we must also keep in mind that during the war, certain social and political changes were taking place along the frontier. Now, whether or not these changes relate to the senseless acts of terrorism remains to be seen. But see to it, I will. I can promise you that. <laughs> Those words are great. Yay, words. Yay, words. Good words, Admiral. Good words. Admiral, you are aware that the increase in these incidents has raised the tension between us and the border worlds to a dangerous level. But before this august body commits itself to a grave and irrevocable action, grave. I have asked the Admiral such a scary shot. Report back to us in two weeks. So basically the whole game takes place over two weeks. Admiral, the go with the blessing of this assembly and of every peace-loving person in the galaxy. Thank you, sir. I hate Fox in News. Weeks, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> we shall vote on the war of peace. Dun dun dun! It's dark in this bar. It's dark in OBS and on my screen. I'll have to see if I can eventually get to the options and try and turn that up, but right now I cannot. I tried earlier, I couldn't get to the options till like far later, which is weird. <sighs> okay.
got you. Oh, give me a house kitchen. Haven't served one of those since the war ended. <laughs> hey, pal. Spare the price of a drink for an old vet? You were a flyer? Oh, yeah, I flew out to TCS Liberty. Help him out. Straighten him out. Help him out. I always do this one. Oh. Do me a favor. Why don't you get out of here and get yourself a meal instead? Hey, thanks, pal. I'll do that. The price of freedom is eternal vigilance. Why would he randomly say that? That always seemed like a, a speed bump to me. Since the war ended. You got a lot of guys coming home and just not enough jobs to go around. Yeah, well, we all make our own way. You a vet? Yeah. Wait a minute. Hey, I've seen your picture before. Um, hold on. You're... Thanks for the drink. Hey, wait, hon what, what, honey, what? I'm not waiting. Don't call me honey. These pigs are all the same. What was that about? Yay! The most colorful outfit in the room. Everyone else is wearing brown. Women out here on the edge of nowhere. Uh, can't appreciate a civilized man. Sure they do. When they meet one. <laughs> Good to see you too, Colonel. Or, or should I say, Farmer Lair. <laughs> Glad you could fit me into your busy schedule. It's a peaceful life. Hmm? I've always said you're either an earthworm or an eagle. So what, you must have been flying since the last since time Since you saw. got lucky on that bombing run on Kilra? Yeah, of course I'm still flying. What else is there? Beats tromping around in fertilizer. Well, you know, Maniac, maybe tromping around in fertilizer is what I want to do. A lot of movie, guys. Maybe after putting my life on the line day after day for all those years, hearing the crunch my feet make on real dirt is what I want. Well, it sounds like you memorized that speech. Good for you. Nothing more. Are anybody gonna stop this? Not my problem. Maybe you should go over and tell him who's boss, Colonel War Hero. This pisses me off. Ain't my business. This pisses me off. This is the way you treat all your friends? You just remember you're not my friend. Oh, that's obvious. So we're lucky I don't kill you right now. Let him go. I don't see where this is your concern, mister. I'm prepared to make it my concern. <laughs> You're gonna wish you never met me. I already do. <laughs> Personally, I can't wait until we meet again. Evil! Evil! Okay. <laughs> so evil. Oh my god. Of course I would have backed you up if you tried anything. Oh, you sit is he gone? Come on! Come on, pal! <laughs> I love Tom Wilson so much. <laughs> so what important matter you wanted to discuss? I love him. <laughs> da, 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 da. Colonel Christopher Blair, Confederation Space Force Reserves. It's my duty to inform you. You are being recalled to active military service. Haven't you heard, Maniac? The war is over. They sent me here to get you. Who sent you? Who said that? How should I know? Somebody high up. They don't tell majors everything, you know. And you think with all the years I put in of service... Well, I'll never understand Confed Command decisions anyway. I mean, why they put an aging earthworm back in the cockpit why I'm not a colonel. You know, just because a guy gets lucky on one mission, happens to vanquish an enemy, we'd be fighting for eons. When do we leave? Leave. Oh, I, I arranged for a couple fighters. They're, they're waiting in the port. Let's go. What about your farm? Let's go. All right, whatever. We never even see the farm. Like, doesn't he have to lock it up or sell it or something? I don't, whatever. <laughs> I have many questions. <laughs> Get this baby off the ground? Huh? Oh, <laughs> nice liftoff, but uh, for a dinosaur. 
Been a few eons since you held a flight stick, huh, Colonel? Or, or did you find some sand princess to hold it for you back there? <laughs> you don't have to answer that. Me? Oh, yeah, I know. Uh, but you can't say you haven't missed my sparkling repartee just a little. I have, because I love Tom Wilson. Okie dokie. Finally, the game. <laughs> to hop a shuttle at the Orlando Depot Hang on. to make the jump to Seoul. Just to make it interesting, I got a surprise for you, Colonel. <laughs> I know you've always wanted to take a shot at me, so here's your chance. Our gun's power generators have been temporarily altered to fire non-lethal blasts. Your HUD will show virtual damage on both ships. First one with 100% damage is the loser. So we can finally see who's better with a flight stick. What do you say? See if this works. Nope. Hang on a second. Kind of working earlier. I don't see it though. Am I gonna have to fly this with a mouse? I have to fly this with a mouse. You're on, pal. Let's see if you still got it, Farmer Blair. Oh, -ho! guess you've been down on Ooh, the that was bad. too long, Colonel. See you at the Orlando Depot. Holy shit! Switching to battle mode. I just hope the auto rig is fixed fast enough. You're gonna wish they were never born. Yeah, this is weird. Give me a damage report. I'm looking fine, as usual. Why won't my joystick work? This makes me sad. I worked with all the other games. Poopies. Poopies. What you see before you, Colonel Blair, is just one of what will be many victories for the border worlds. What the what? Three thousand people aboard that crate, and he just, just. Oh, oh, and if that wasn't enough, we're in the middle of nowhere, flying on fumes. Wait, nav computers picked up Blue Point Station. Oh, I'm not sure we can make it, but oh, we got no choice. Listen, downloading nav data to you. Ooh, I'm hurt. Nothing personal, Colonel, but so far I haven't much enjoyed this reunion. Need clearance. Welcome to Blue Point, gentlemen. You have clearance. Oh God. So, I don't know why. Game don't like my joystick. <sighs> what? Oh, aren't you recording? Oh, okay. Hi, everybody. <laughs> like, I didn't need to see that right now. <laughs> I could have seen that later. <laughs> okay, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Thank you for bringing the mail in, honey. I love you so much. You're the best. You're the best. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. Sort of. It's kind of funny. Threw me off. You totally threw me off. Okay. Take full responsibility. I'm all focused and in the zone. And then there's a big brown thing in my field of vision. I was like, ah! It's coming right at me. <laughs> <laughs> well, on that note, folks, we're going to stop this entry. <laughs> and uh, we'll... Because there's more movie. <laughs> so, we'll uh, we'll pick this up with uh, the next entry. 
Uh, so thanks. We'll, we'll pick this up yeah, with the next entry. So thanks for watching, folks. See you next time.